Piers Morgan, 57, has made his way over to Buckingham Palace to say farewell to the Queen. The presenter paid tribute to the late ruler, as he branded Queen Elizabeth II our greatest ever monarch. It comes as Queen Elizabeth II will be laid to rest alongside her late husband during a private burial this evening after her state funeral at Westminster Abbey. Piers himself will be providing coverage of the Queen's funeral for Fox News alongside Martha McCallum and Ainsley Earhart. The talk TV presenter shared a snap of himself looking somber in front of Buckingham Palace wearing a black suit. Alongside the photo, he wrote, early start at the palace. Going to be a long, historic and incredibly moving day as we say goodbye to our greatest ever monarch. Hashtag Queen Funeral. Mourners took to the comments to share their thoughts and wish peers well. At Kaleidoscope X17 wrote, today. They bury Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II after 70 years of self-sacrificing service, to the world. All while being a wonderful wife and mother. You were, are and always will represent the best of mankind. God bless the Queen from one legend to another. At Michael de Kemp wrote, Peers, America will value your understated and measured tones. Your modest and humble approach will respectfully inform our American friends of the magnitude of today's ceremony. Good luck my friend. You will be America's Hugh Edwards. Peers has been extremely vocal following the death of Her Majesty the Queen, speaking up in defense of her against trolls in the wake of her death. Yesterday, the presenter hit out against heartless Celtic football fans who had hoisted an anti-monarchy banner during a game. Supporters hijacked the minute's applause for Queen Elizabeth II after she died on September 8. Chants of if you hate the royal family, clap your hands rang around the stadium over the applause. A banner with the same message was held up which prompted Sky Sports to apologize to viewers. Apologies if you were offended by anything you might have heard, commentator Ian Crocker said. Most people showed respect, some did not. Piers wrote of the event, magnificent applause at Brentford slash Arsenal on 70th minute for the Queen, and stirring spontaneous singing of national anthem. What a contrast to the heartless Celtic fans that chose to mock and taunt a 96-year-old woman who loved Scotland so much.